So here you can see uh, 1400, and on the left-hand side you can see it's DB9 serial port, which is COM2. And on the bottom we can see a couple things. First we see an RJ45 jack, which is for Ethernet and for COM1. And then we also see to the left of that an 8-pin mini DIN serial port, which is COM0. Now, to connect our computer to the COM0, we're going to use a 1761 CBL PMO2 cable, which has an 8-pin mini DIN right angle connector that plugs right into the Micrologix like this. And you can go ahead and close the cover, and you can see it's very secure in there. Now let's go ahead and pull that out. And next we'll take a look at COM2 and a cable with a DB9 connector. Now, if you're going to connect this to your computer, you'll need a null modem cable or an Allen Bradley 1747 CP3 cable. And it has to have a DB9 female connector, typically at both ends. Now finally, let's take a look at plugging into the Ethernet port. Here we'll use a crossover cable to go directly from the Micrologix to my legacy laptop. However, if I had a newer laptop or if I was plugging into a switch, I would want to use a standard Ethernet patch cable. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. 